Oh. Uh. I thought Kelly would be back by now. No, Liam's gonna keep Kelly for the night. I got a, a lot of makeup for. Just grateful Kelly gets time with her dad again. Yeah, that's a huge relief for sure. Oh. Okay. We should probably tackle this pile while he's just sleeping. And we still haven't finished filling out the paperwork for his birth certificate. Um, actually, that's something I, I want to talk to you about. I have an idea. It's, uh, it's about his name. So, what do we do now? About what? Uh, the enormous void we're gonna have to fill. My former legal counsel. Well, Justin was- ah! Don't do it. I don't ever wanna hear his name mention this building again. I don't give a damn what happens to him. As long as he stays the hell away from me and my company that he tried to steal. So if we don't press charges, you'll have my loyalty. Full access to years of information, knowledge of Bill's dealings, in exchange for my freedom, in exchange for your silence about my momentary lapse in judgment. I know you despise Bill Spencer, and rightfully so, but I'm giving you a chance to have the upper hand on him. You'd be crazy to pass it up. I'm so happy to know that you're still COO and, and lead counsel of Forrester. Shows me how valued you are. You're irreplaceable, Carter. It's not true. They're giving me a second chance, but... But it means that we have to be over. And that you can't see me anymore. You're changing your mind on the name Hayes? No, no, not at all. I mean, that Hayes fit perfectly right when we saw him. Yeah. And thank you for allowing me to honor my mom that way. Yeah, I, I, I love the name. I love you. I love you. It just got me thinking a little further, you know. He's part you and Hayes is part me. He's like a combination of both of us and I kind of want that to reflect in his name. Okay, um, so it's like Hayes Finnegan. I mean, I think we got that covered. Okay, so I was thinking, um, what if we do Hayes Forrester Finnegan? Dad, is there any chance, even in the slightest? No, none. He kept me in jail, Wyatt. He attempted a coup. Bill, you have every right to feel the way you do. And even if you can't find any forgiveness, it could be healing. Forgiveness? Not an option. Not ever. What can you really do for me? I'm not on this company. I don't need to know what's going on over at Spencer's. Why? Bill's jealous of you. Always has been. Which means he'll come for you again. It's only a matter of time before that happens. Oh boy, and when it does, I'll be right there for you. You have my word. You deserve all the success you've achieved, Carter. I don't want you to lose that because of me, because of our involvement. You deserve it too. You've worked so hard over the years. I was successful before Forrester Creations, and I will be again. It's scary, starting over and not knowing what the future holds. <laughs> I mean, Eric, he was just, he was the center of my life for so long. Status of being his wife, my portrait above the fireplace. <gasps> no. Oh. Carter. 
What is my portrait doing here? You want Hayes to have the Forster name too? Well, I have two kids and Kelly has her father's name and I just, I want Hayes to have my name too. Okay, I mean, I understand that. You do? Yeah. I mean, the way I see it, two names are better than one. All right, he's, he's your name and my name. We're gonna be a family. I mm -hmm. love you. And now that Hayes is here, I mean, I'm even more excited you know, to become one, officially a family. This wedding cannot come soon enough. <laughs> Steffi, I am, I am so ready to marry you. Eric asked me to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he meant trash it. But how could I? So you brought it here. What else could I do? I couldn't let something so beautiful get destroyed. Looking back now, I realized Justin was acting erratic. He was stressed. But I thought he was stressed out because he was having a hard time getting you and Liam out of jail. Well, you're lucky he got caught when he did. Because guess what? If he was trying to take over this company, you were going to be the next on his hit list. Yeah, well, I don't want to think about that because I should be thinking about this uh, affiliate meeting. Good, onward and upward. Okay, I'm gonna go too. Um, Zach's dad is dropping off, Will. Hey, hey Katie, wait, 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 wait a second. Um, I'm free now. So how about you uh, involve me in, uh, in practices and, and play dates? Carpool. Carpool? Well, why are you so surprised? You don't think I, I can get in the carpool lane just like any old regular debt? All right, sure, I'll take you up on that. Uh, in fact, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. Good. Come over. Well, we'll be happy to see you. I'll be there. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to do about Justin. You have every right to feel the way you do. And if you think you need to cut him out of your life, then, then that's your choice. But he's your best friend. Was. And he betrayed you. And I know that hurts. So you can bluster and you can say that he's dead to you, but we both know it's more complicated than that. Thomas, Ridge, so what do you say? Do we have a deal? I say we prosecute today. Um, wait. I know what it's like to have a momentary lapse in judgment. That's why I didn't tell the police when I was at the station. I also know what it's like to hate Bill. But can we trust him? No, you can't trust him, it's Justin. I know you have no reason to believe me and every reason to suspect. What I did to Thomas, no father should forgive. Maybe I could do something to prove my loyalty to you. Dollar Bill's most prized possession. The sword necklace. It's for you, Ridge. I mean what I say. I'm done with Dollar Bill. It's all yours if we have a deal. Keep me out of jail. Accept my apology. This is my vial of loyalty to you now, Ridge. Whenever you need me, consider it done. If you don't press charges. So, gentlemen, what do you say?
You can never let them see that you have this. Not Eric, not not Ridge. Otherwise, they're going to think that you and I are still... I know, I know. I can't take that risk. Not after getting my second chance. <sighs> you know, I keep asking myself... How, how we let this get so out of control. Then I think about our time together and... Mm. I... Me too. I feel guilty, no. Quinn. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I didn't lose anything. You lost so much. No, no. No guilt. I think about you all the time. How you're hurting. I know you're strong, but this has got to be brutal, and I want to make it better. I want to take you in my arms. I want to hold you. I want to tell you that it's going to be okay. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm Eric's attorney. I'm handling his divorce from you, and I, I shouldn't be talking to you about this, right? You have been given an amazing opportunity. Second chance. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. I won't. This has to be over, Carter. I just, I can't be in your arms again. I'm looking forward to our wedding, too. And our honeymoon. Assuming I'll be ready to be away from Hayes. At this mm. point, I couldn't even imagine it. No way. No, I mean, we could do the honeymoon here. And kids included. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but then, <laughs> but then we will do another one for our first anniversary. Mm. Just the two of us. Oh, you could talk me into that. <laughs> yeah, good. There's, um, a lot I was hoping to talk you into, actually. Oh, sounds mysterious. This is the happiest I've ever been. Yeah. It's the truth. Uh, You've changed my life. You've given me this beautiful child, our son, and this responsibility of, of raising him and, and being a husband. I don't see a wedding band on my finger, mister, so... Mm, but you will soon. In fact... Maybe even today. <laughs> hey, Dad. Didn't know you were coming in. I wasn't planning to, but... Uh... The sooner I can get started on this divorce, the better. I stopped by Carter's office. He's not there. You know where he is? No, nah, he hasn't been in today yet. It surprises me. I would think he would be the first person into the office to show us that uh, we didn't make a mistake. Keeping him on. Not firing him. You still thinking about that? No. We have an agreement. He can stay here and keep his place at Forrester as long as he stays away from Quinn. It doesn't seem fair. I have to walk away from you right now when I need your friendship the most. Yeah, I hate that it has to be this way, but Eric made it very clear. Did he... Did he say those words or was it just implied? If you want your job, stay away from Quinn. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, so that's what we need to do, right? I just hope that, that you will always remember the connection that you shared. You know, when everything is said and done and you moved on. Because you know you will. A man like you. So handsome and kind. And I know, I know there is. Oh, 
There's a lucky woman out there just waiting for you. Today. Well, we haven't done any planning. Like, yeah. who could we invite over right now? Yeah, but that's the point. You know, it, it can just be you and me. <laughs> and one very special witness. I mean, I don't think there's an age requirement. Yeah, he's gonna need to do some assigning. <laughs> okay, well, we'll figure it out. I mean, tell me, if you were to say your vows to me today, right here, right now, what would you say? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What would you I say? Don't know. <laughs> I I would say that I am very fortunate to have you in my life. And you're an extraordinary man who helped me through one of the hardest times in my life. I'm appreciative of you. You gave me a beautiful son. And I really hope he has your voice and your kind heart. Because you're amazing. You're understanding, You're like super sexy, <laughs> like so many things. Okay, my turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful too. You know, to be marrying a strong, confident woman and the most beautiful. I couldn't imagine my life without you because you made what my life is today. You made me a father. Now, I want you to make me a husband. Oh. I mean, we already said our vows to a very sleepy little witness over there. Let's, <laughs> let's just do it. I mean, I promise to love, honor, and cherish you for the rest of my life. Will you do the same? Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish me for the rest of yours? Let's just do it. I mean, right here, right now. Say yes. <laughs> 